This is the best feeling. A sky full of stars, a new planet waiting across the galaxy, never gets old. Why do you think I never settled down? There's something about cities. All that plasteel and concrete. Weighs too much to ever feel free. When I came back to Ord Mantell, I thought that was the end for me. Thanks for giving me a way off. So, how about that war, huh, Captain? You think the Republic will stop hiding behind the Treaty of Coruscant and admit they want the Empire wiped out? It doesn't sit right negotiating with people who want every man, woman, and kid dead. You practicing your speech for office? You trying to tell me you don't think about it? I do. I joined the Peace Brigade when I was 14. I know what a world looks like when the Empire's done with it. What's that? A bunch of do-gooders? The Brigade's a relief organization. Go into worlds abandoned by the Treaty of Corson, help people displaced by the Empire. I was a kid looking for an adventure. After two months, let's just say there are no kids in war zones. So, how'd you end up out here, Captain? Was there ever a time you wanted something more... normal? A family? A steady job somewhere you didn't need a blaster in hand? Are you happy here, or would you rather be back raising Rontos? I've just been thinking about a guy I met in the Brigade. Mercenary. He'd been fighting for the Republic for 20 years. I was 16, fresh off the ship. This guy gave me my first blaster. I thought you country boys grow up shooting. I mean, sure, I'd handled a hunting rifle, but... Never anything aimed at people. This guy told me, gun's just a tool. You use it to destroy, or you use it to protect against those who would destroy you. And you took it to heart. Made me think different about guns. You can't protect the people you love if you're afraid to get your hands dirty. I brought Torchy home and my parents made me lock her up, told me not to wish away peace. I didn't have her when the Separatists came. Boy, Captain. Life with you is almost enough to get me missing the good old days. Ah, for Ord Mantell. Where Separatists were bad and guns were good and we could just run in shooting. Are you drunk? Just tipsy. I can still bullseye an Imperial soldier at a thousand paces. Why don't we have more fun on this ship? Back home when we needed a laugh, we used to run the Rontos in circles. Then see if they could charge us without falling over. Good night, Corso. Maybe I should go lie down. I never like asking for favors, Captain. But I think maybe we know each other well enough by now. I want to look for my cousin Rona. She's all the family I got left. And I think she should know what happened. Never worry about favors, Corso. You're part of my crew. Thank you, Captain. Rona came with me when I left for the brigade, but she jumped ship at the first port. All she ever wanted was to get off Ward Mantel. I thought maybe we could track her down. You'd like her. She's really the reason I'm here. I thought you came to chase down Skavik and stayed for the good beer. Rona was kind of our family rebel. We used to have a blast together. She liked me to run interference, so her father never caught her on dates with off-worlders. I look forward to meeting her. On second thought, maybe I shouldn't introduce you to. Rona's always had a nose for trouble. I remember one time, Uncle came looking for Rona while she was on the shuttle pod with some Agamarian pirate. I was about 12. I didn't know how else to distract Uncle, so I started to fight. Got the whole ship confiscated. I never did find out how Rona got out of city jail. I found someone who knows my cousin Rona. He's a street doctor in Coruscant, kind of a shady character, but that's who Rona always drifted to. I think he really can get us to her, but... If it gets you to your cousin, I'm in. Just tell me what I'm signing on for. Thank you, Captain. After some of the stuff we've done. I'm just saying it'd have to be one ugly mission to be worth turning down a chance to see my cousin. Let's just go to Coruscant and hear this guy out. Ah, Captain, and Corso Riggs. It's good to meet such generous souls in a place like this. I'm Dr. Hope. I like to think of myself as a messenger of mercy, caring for the poor, forsaken citizens of the Underlevels. We don't need the pitch, just tell us what you know about Rona. 
I'd be happy to, but as a doctor, I must put the needs of my patients first. Is that your real name? The citizens of Lower Coruscant call me that for the ray of hope I bring to their cramped and miserable lives. I'm sure. Right, so I've got some, uh, life-saving medications that need delivering. Unfortunately, Coruscant security only cares about the rich. They don't let anyone distribute, uh, medications in the underlevels at all. You better not be asking us to go after Coruscant security. Well, I don't want to get you, or me, into trouble with the law. The only way to get my meds down without getting stopped is to carry them inside a living body. What? They'll be safely stored in surgical plastic and implanted under the skin. My, uh, nurse can remove them on the other end. Captain I used to serve with, he once swallowed a whole shipment of grenades to keep them under wraps. This isn't half bad. <laughs> I wish I had a hundred just like you, Captain. This was always Rona's kind of thing, breaking the law to do good under the nose of a corrupt authority. It's worth it if I get to see her. I'll just need you to come with me a moment, Master Riggs. Perfect. These vials should stay sealed for at least 12 hours, no problem. I'll tell my contact, uh, nurse, to expect you. When we get back, Rona better be waiting. You bring goods? Doctors say, two people, look out. Now time, cut out spice. Did she say spice? You thought you were smuggling cough syrup? I knew we didn't have the whole story. I just hoped there was some core truth to it. That he really was helping the people here. You used us! If you weren't a lady, you'd... I gotta go have a word with your boss. I not speak basic. You say, take spice away? Good spice. I give good money. Big... Uh, how you say, cut? We're not asking for a bigger cut, you idiot. No one's going to profit off this. No! It's good money! Good, good money! Doctor, no be happy with this! Good. We're not too happy with him. Come on, Captain. Uh, did the delivery go well? Yeah, we did your dirty work, you fraud. Now where's my cousin? I'd be shocked if this piece of trash can answer that. You're looking for Rona Riggs, right? Well, she's the one who thought you two would be right for the job. Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> Just like the old days, eh, cuz? Of course, I'm a little more big time now than Ma and Pa ever would have allowed. What were you thinking sending us to smuggle spice? How could I resist? I remember how much my baby cousin loved all our little pranks. Rona, what... what happened to you? What are you doing here? I'm the underboss for the Black Suns on this part of Coruscant. Not bad, considering five years ago I was shoveling Ronto dung. The Black Suns? You're... a gang member? Gang leader. You think I should write home? Make Ma and Pa proud? Sorry to be the one to tell you, but Corso's the only family you've got. They're all dead, Rona. Separatists got them. <laughs> After all that grousing about the big dangerous galaxy, guess that showed them. How can you say that? Don't you care? We obviously came just in time. Come on, Rona. We're getting you out of here. Poor chivalrous little Corso. Don't you get it? I don't need to be rescued. I chose this life. There's only two ways out of that life, sweetheart. With us, or in a body bag. This isn't what you wanted, Rona. We talked about wild adventures, not smuggling spice. You wanted to be like the captain, right? Thumb your nose at society and use your freedom to make a difference. You can still do that. It was a nice dream, but this is where I woke up. I'm sorry I dragged you into it. Go with your captain. Maybe you two can show me how to make a better life. Nothing worse than coming to the realization that your parents were right. Can't stop thinking about Rona. My folks always said she'd come to no good in the big city. And there she is, a stooge for some spice smugglers. I think you got through to her. She won't be there forever. 
I wish I believed that. It's not like I didn't see it coming. Dr. Hope. I just didn't want to think that was really who Ron had fallen in with. That's what I get for trying to see the best in folks. If there's any good in this galaxy, you'll be the one to find it. I don't plan to stop giving anyone the benefit of the doubt. If I trust the wrong guy, maybe I get hurt. But if I'm too scared to help someone who really needs it, who knows how many people will suffer. I gotta ask you, Captain. Why are you doing this? Before Dodonna, you had no ties to the Republic. There's gotta be places you could make credits without taking Imperial fire. So why do we keep heading straight into the war zones? Just because I don't always pay taxes doesn't mean I don't appreciate the Republic. Republic's far from perfect, but at least they're trying. When I came home from the brigade with Torchy, my old man told me something that's always stuck with me. The minute you fire a weapon, someone's getting hurt. It's your responsibility to make sure the good you do with it outweighs that harm. Your father sounds like a good man. He was. Before Skavik took Torchy, I made sure she only fired against Separatists. Figured everyone I took down was one less family murdered. Sergeant Boom Boom, I like to use against the Empire. Buy a Republic world another day of peace. Makes pulling the trigger that much more meaningful, you know? Captain, I just got some real good news. Somebody attempted to access Vidu's old bank accounts from Tatooine. Aren't all of Vidu's people dead? Maybe not. Vidu's crew was like a family to me. First one after mine were killed. I didn't think any of them survived Skavik and Serena. I don't know what they'd be doing on Tatooine. I'm guessing you see a trip to Tatooine in our future? That'd be a real favor, Captain. The only one with access to the accounts was our slicer. Twi'let kid. Called himself Jettison. Good guy. Makes me wonder what got him so desperate he tried to take a loan from a dead man's accounts. We should go as soon as we can. I'll find him. You got my word on that. Thank you, Captain. I won't forget you did this for me. From what I can tell, the access attempt came from some village, way off the beaten path. No name or anything. Really makes me wonder what he's doing out there. Do you have a minute? We're looking for a stranger in your village. A Twi'lek kid called Jettison. I got a call from him, place from here. No strangers here. They don't like them, if you're smart. Don't be one. What's wrong? What's going on behind that shield? Busy. Busy time. It's feast day, you know. <laughs> Taste just like Bantha. What are you scared of? Does it have something to do with where everyone is? Where everyone is? What everyone is? I'm a stranger here too. They kidnapped me to be their doctor. They call me at nights. There's something wrong with this place. What is it? Don't be afraid. The people. They're crazy. They worship the desert. Burn sacrifices to her. And I treated them, dozens of them, for the laughing sickness. There's only one way to get that. Eating human flesh. Set two more fires. These strangers will be fresh meat tonight. Corso there is all muscle, stringy, and I have it on good authority that I'm bad for the heart. You mock us. You have no idea what it takes to survive in the desert. Her gifts are few. It is blasphemy to waste any flesh she provides. Are you seriously trying to justify this? Kill them! Save the organs! Corso? Is that you? How did you... I, I didn't think I would ever... Oh. I heard they took in strangers who were new to the planet. And they locked me up and... Were they gonna eat me? You're a gift of flesh from the desert. They were meant to eat you. Oh, I think I'm gonna... Oh. Don't tease him, Captain. You're okay, Jed. But how did you end up here? I thought Serena got everyone. I had the set cameras wired to my comm. I saw it all go down. Started running and I didn't stop until I hit Tatooine. I was trying to start over. After what Serena did, 
I've been too scared to go in anyone's systems. It was kind of a game for me, working for Vidu. It never really hit home to me that we were committing crimes. That people could die. It's rough to lose friends like that. I've got no one. No place to go, no, no money. I was hoping I could take something from Vidu, but... Of course, so is there anything... Don't worry, Jet. We'll take care of you. Won't we, Captain? You want to do right by the kid? Who am I to argue? Go to Anchorhead. Should be some people there who owe me and the Captain a good turn. I'll try to set you up with some legit work. I think you've had enough of the wild side. I'll say. <laughs> thank you, Corso. I can't think of anyone from the old crew I'd rather have find me. There's no one more loyal than Corso, Captain. You're lucky to have him. You think about it all? That craziness back on Tatooine? What makes a person desperate enough to start seeing his fellow men as... meat? If we ever resort to cannibalism, I've got dibs on Risha. Captain, that's horrible. You're gonna share, right? Anyway, I heard from Jettison. He's recovering. He went back to Ord. He's looking for a job handling holonet security for the governor. Glad to know he's okay, you know? One thing to point at and say, we did some good here. Are you forgetting the hundreds of other people we've saved? Sure. There's always something more going on. Money, or politics, or something. When I was growing up, you know, good was good, and bad was bad. Now, it's all these shades of gray, and even those aren't always true. You ever think about getting away from all this, Captain? The war, the huts, all of it? Ord's at peace now. It'd be a simpler life. You'd be bored in ten minutes. Probably so. It's just, after Darmus, kind of feel like hiding my head in the sand. Beauty always had something to say about that. Gets you shot in the end. Better to face it head on. I hope I've been some help to you, Captain. Because you've sure taught me a lot. I mean, I'd done my share of fighting, but you've got it down to an art. There's no one I'd rather have at my back. Thanks, Captain. I know you don't say that lightly. Captain, I... No good way to say this without sounding like bragging. Got a comm call from Ward Mantell, Governor's office. They've been keeping tabs on what we're doing, and... Captain, they're calling me a Republic hero. Ward Mantell's most storied native son. You are a hero, Corso. I'm glad someone's acknowledging it. It's not like they're building a statue or anything. Actually, they're asking for our help. Turns out the Separatists were backed by the Empire. They wanted to destabilize the government. When they were defeated, the Empire attacked outright. Ord drove them off, but they left behind some kind of EMP pulsar. What's that do? It's causing every droid on the planet to malfunction. Apparently, the thing is in orbit somewhere. They haven't been able to get a lock on the signal. But it's affected every droid, comlink, and terminal on the planet. Complete economic shutdown. How do we help? Thank you, Captain. It'd be nice to give something back to the world that raised me. They're asking us to go to Balmora. The Empire's got disarm codes stored there, but Ord has no troops with the gear or training to go after them. They should be like us. Learn as they go. I don't think most people could survive your kind of school. The codes were stored in a cave with a bunch of other Imperial weapons. Should be a quick snatch and grab, as far as should takes us. Magar! Magar! Answer me! We've been waiting for you all clear. Are you there? Blasted Imperials! Who's that? Why would she be calling an Imperial soldier? If they killed you, Magar... Huh? I've already sworn to hunt down every puss-ridden Emperor lover on this planet! Hello? You're not my husband. Why are you answering his calm? You first. Why are you calling this man? Oh, blast it! One of us will have to trust first. You don't sound Imperial. I'm Damazine. 
proud Balmoran and member of the Resistance Against the Empire. My husband Magar stole an Imperial uniform. He and some friends were trying to get weapons to help us retake our town. Stole a uniform? They weren't really Imperials? Free Balmorans, everyone. Did... did anyone survive? I wish they did. I I'm really sorry, ma'am. I wish there were better words for it. Is there any way we can make it up to you? You're gonna think I'm a cold-hearted old battle axe, but I've lost my sons, my parents. That's no stranger here. What we really need are those guns. Magor risked his life to get them. I hate to think he died for nothing. Can Lord Mantell wait on these codes long enough for a side trip? Captain, these men died because of our mistake. Bring me the guns, and I'll pay fair price for the lot of them. We're in hiding behind Imperial lines. Magar's comms got the coordinates. So, you're the ones who killed my Magar. You look younger in person. It can't have been easy to get these guns here. Thank you. Now what do I owe you? Danla, darling. I just heard the terrible news. It's a tough time for a woman to be alone out here. But don't worry. I won't let anyone take advantage of that. She just lost her husband. Don't go nosing around. Oh, you're her protector now. The way I understand it, you two just killed her husband. Maybe I should defend her from you. I think Dana Zine can decipher herself who she wants to talk to. Aren't you too sweet? But this is my army, not Dan Lazin's. Whatever she's offering for those munitions, I'll double it. I'm guessing you've got a strong opinion about this. There's no amount of money that would make me give this brute a blaster. Ma'am, you still interested in buying these weapons? Thank you, son. You're a good boy. I hope your mama appreciates that. Now, you move on out. We don't need you anymore. What? This is my town! You're no better than the Imperials. Go see if they'll have you. We'll take back Balmora on our own. I knew your whole only in it for the money thing was just a front. Thank you, Captain. I couldn't live with myself if we'd left Dan Lazine with that pig. Hardly makes up for killing her husband. She's probably not the first widow we've ever left, Captain. You just gotta hope it all evens out, you know? Governor's office on Ord Mantell says thanks, by the way. With the disarm codes, they finally got real peace there. It's hard to say if something like that is worth a life. Look, Captain, I try not to get sentimental around you, but hear me out. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. You're my family, as much or more than the one the Separatists took. As long as I live, I'll be here to serve you and your children after if I last so long. I wouldn't want to try any of this without you. You're a good friend, Captain. And seriously, keep that children thing in mind. You've got too many talents not to pass them on. Every kid needs an uncle who's good with a DXR6 heavy carbine. 